Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will discuss a few rules for negation. Let's say X is an even number. Suddenly, I say X is an odd number. Clearly, it's a contradiction, okay? Because I'm saying the opposite. So contradictions are basically pi and not pi or not pi and pi. I mean, these two things are equal anyways. So if you have an expression of the form pi and not pi, you can say this expression is a contradiction. You cannot have two things to be true simultaneously if they are opposite of each other, right? This is contradiction. All right, so there are a few fundamental rules for negation. First is from contradiction, you can derive anything you wanted. That makes sense uh, because false, okay, implies, uh, it doesn't matter whatever you're putting it here, false or true, the answer is always going to be true, okay? We, we discussed this when we defined implications. From contradiction, you can derive anything you wanted. This is called contradiction elimination. The second rule is if you have already established pi and you are also able to establish not pi, that means there is contradiction. So this rule is called not elimination. Okay, as you can see, not and E, e stands for elimination. The third rule is that you have some premise pi and you're doing some proof and you end up with a contradiction that means your original premise pi must be wrong so you have a not of pi in this case that means you are introducing a not so this is not introduction right i for introduction this is not elimination these three things are the foundational rules for negation let me do a simple exercise to get the idea of uh, not e in particular we will talk about from pi to derive a contradiction and then come to not pi later but for now let's just do one exercise for not elimination. So I'm going to create a problem. I want to prove that if P implies Q and not if P implies Q is same as contradiction because it's a contradiction. You can see here it's opposite of each other, right? This is opposite of this and vice versa. So how do we prove this? From the first line, I will eliminate and I can do that because we talked about and elimination. Similarly, from the first line, I can also eliminate the second part of the understatement. So far, we are okay. No errors, but we are not yet arrived at the proof. And now, you see here, these two things are opposite of each other. Now I can apply uh, the rule of not elimination, right? Because these are opposite of each other. So I would have a contradiction and this is nothing but not elimination rule. We just talked about not elimination. Two and a three. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. The proof is correct. That's basically it. Thank you very much for your attention.